the officers allege he had a knife, that he ran at them. Let us be frank, they were fully blocking the only exit in a tiny hallway. What we do know is that he was tased and as he pushed past Officer Pianiazek, never hitting him with the knife that he allegedly had, the officer turned and as he fell, he haphazardly fired four shots from two feet away. Three went into Osaze's back, killing him. I think it's important because so many of the students who are here now were not here when it happened. Um, there's so many people who don't know who he is. And I think that that's by design. Um, the transitional nature, the transient nature of the population in State College ensures that stories kind of stop um, once students cycle out. We are here today honoring and remembering the life of yet another black man that was taken from us too early. To be out here, um, I think in, in all moments of time, you know, I, I spoke to, to um, how deeply our, our oppression is intertwined and I think our, our liberation, I know that our liberation is intertwined and um, especially in this moment where I am seeing my people being genocided, uh, there is nothing more important than to continue to stand for, for justice. Because the narrative that the police and the media want people to know is that he was a bad person, but he wasn't. He had mental health issues. And being mentally ill is not a crime, my shirt says. Being mentally ill is not a crime. And you should not have to die for having a mental health issue, for having schizophrenia or autism. It's freezing, um, and they could be anywhere but here. But I think that speaks to how much this this situation, this incident, touches people, um, and how much people want to be involved and get engaged and, and make change happen. We need justice, and I'm not going to stop fighting until we get that. I love you, Osazi. I miss you. I'm sorry that I was not there, and I'll never forgive myself for that. I miss you every day. And I want to thank you for being one of my first friends that I ever met when I came to <laughs> Sad Valley. You took me in with open arms. You didn't judge me because I had mental health issues. You're the reason why I continue to fight that I will not stop fighting, even when I'm told to stop fighting. You know, there is nothing that can be done to bring